Hi guys, so today in this video we will write a python source code to find the roots of a quadratic equation. So I have started the Jupyter notebook from Anaconda Navigator and then I clicked on new and then python3. So let us first of all write the heading as the aim of the program. So this is level 2 heading ok. So I will write uh, python program to python source code for finding roots of a quadratic equation. So for finding roots of a quadratic equation. Okay. So let us go to plus for the new part and then first of all I will import the SQRT from math because I am gonna need that in finding the roots so from math import sqrt then i will give the format of the quadratic equation so let us print it so quadratic equation equals to ax square plus bx plus c and then we will enter the values of a b and c from the user so let us write it down ax square plus bx plus c then i will ask the user to enter the values of a b and c and for that i will use the input and enter a and then i will convert it into float so a equals to b equals to c equals to let us say float and then in input i will di directly write enter a so input and then enter a enter a would be printed on the screen so that the user would be able to know which value to insert now let me just copy paste this part and then we will rewrite a as b and then c so let us remove that okay so now we have to get the value of determinant so let us declare a variable d b square so i will directly write b star star 2 and star star means to the power of so let us write that down in the comment set comment part and then we don't need semicolon in python so in comments i will write uh, star star 2 means square and star star is equivalent to the power so i will just write it as symbol so star star equals to to the power of symbol now if d is greater than 0 then i have to print the root as minus b plus square root of determinant of whole upon 2a and another root would be minus b minus square root of determinant upon 2a so let us write that down so minus b plus sqrt of d and then we have to complete this bracket and upon 2a so it's 2 star a okay now we will copy paste this and r2 would be minus b minus square root of d so let us change that part and then i will just remove plus and insert minus over here now i will print discriminant is greater than 0 so root 1 equals to percent f and root 2 equals to percent f and we will print the values of r1 and r2 so here uh, we will write discriminant was greater than 0 comma and uh, so root 1 equals to percent f and root 2 equals to percent f and then i will print the value of the variables r1 and r2 so percent f here and then over here i have to give the value from the variable so r1 comma r2 okay so now else if the determinant was equal to zero so let us just write comma and then slash n for the new line so that discriminant is greater than 0 would be printed on 1 and root 1 and root 2 would be printed on next one so else if determinant was equal to 0 then both the roots would be equal so let us write it as r only so r equals to minus b upon 2a because determinant would be 0 and minus b plus minus root square root of uh, 0 is already 0 See, so we don't have to write that so we will just copy paste this part so print discriminant was equal to 0 so root 1 equals to root 2 equals to 
or in place of that i will write so there is only one root so let us remove this also and in place of percentile i will directly give the value of the variable so uh, there is only one root equal to and then comma r equals to and then comma r now i have to complete the bracket now else determinant was less than zero which means the root would be containing a real and an imaginary value so i will write real equals to minus b upon 2a and imaginary would be equal to square root of minus d upon 2a so let us copy paste this real part and then square root of minus d from here i'll just write minus over here and remove that extra bracket from there okay now what we have to do is we have to print discriminant is less than zero so the root would be containing an real and an imaginary number that is a complex number so let us write that down too okay so let us just give brackets over here so that it won't give me an error so let us just print this part so this discriminant is less than zero so the root would be containing a real and an imaginary number that is complex number real and an imaginary number uh, in the bracket i will give a complex number which means a negative value under the square root or a root so slash n after this for the new line so that root 1 and root 2 will be printed on the next lines so let us print this part okay let us remove slash n and so from here and root 1 would be equal to real plus imaginary and root 2 would be equal to uh, real minus imaginary so let us write it down so this real part in the first bracket and then imaginary part in the second bracket and the root 2 would be equal to real part in the first bracket and minus imaginary part so in place of r1 and r2 i will give the values as real and comma imaginary and again we have to write it down so i will just copy paste this part and then paste over here only and then i will write exit after this we wrote the exit uh, as per our convenience because we want to terminate the program after all of this so let us run this program okay uh, else what error have i made maybe indentation no so let us just check it out once again okay i forgot the colons okay now indentation so let us do this okay so first of all let us enter a as 100 b as 1 and c as 30 so that discriminant would be greater than 0 and we would also input uh, cases for discriminant less than and equal to 0 so let us first do this one uh, we made a silly mistake over here uh, for discriminant less than 0 it is giving me condition is discriminant greater than 0 so over here in place of b square minus 4ac we wrote b square plus 4ac so let us run this again so 100 1 and 30 so just like earlier so 100 1 and 30 now discriminant is less than 0 so the roots would be containing a real and an imaginary number that is a complex number and root 1 was real plus imaginary and root 2 was real minus imaginary now let us go ahead for the discriminant's value as 0 and discriminant's value greater than 0 so now let us run this again for discriminant equals to 0 so for that b square and 4 is this should be equals so we wrote 2 4 and 2 so discriminant was equal to 0 so there is one, only one root that is minus 1 so now let us run this again for discriminant greater than 0 so for this uh, b square's value should be greater so for b i will input 50 and a c so let us say 1 and 2 so let us enter the values so a equals to 1 
b equals to 50 and c equals to 2 so discriminant was greater than 0 and root 1 was 0 0.04 and root 2 was 49.95 so here was the small program to find roots of a quadratic equation let me just make this smaller so that you can see the whole program and the output too so you can take a screenshot thank you guys for watching the video do like share and subscribe also comment down below if you have any doubts